supporters for Proposal 1 are now going on a three-day bus tour around the state. This final push is on. Um, Nolan, do you think they're going to be able to change any minds now? I don't know that at this point it's about changing minds. It's about getting their voters out. They've, they've identified groups that they believe support this proposal, and it's getting to the polls. They've got a rather sophisticated get-out-the-vote drive uh, planned, and they've dedicated a big chunk of the $10 million they've had either raised or have committed to getting people out to vote. And I think this comes down to uh, turnout. If you get the 21 percent uh, uh, turnout that Mark Grebner, for example, predicted, this thing's going to go down two to, two to one. But, you know, the governor's folks are thinking it might be as low as 900,000 people voting. And in that case, they've got a shot of getting their folks out to the polls and squeaking this thing through. I think it's a long shot, but it's the only shot they've got. Every um, article that I read about Baltimore or a column that was happening, Stephen, they also mentioned Detroit and the fact that there are the similarities between the cities and the makeup, some of the poverty and some of the policing problems. Yeah, no, I mean, they're very similar places in terms of the population. There are some key differences, too. Baltimore's poverty is really, really concentrated in very dense areas. I mean, it's still a city of row houses. In some cases, a hundred row houses on a block, each with five or six people living in it. That's a much different kind. It gives poverty a much different sort of uh, uh, tinge than it does here, where it's really spread out over a, a large uh, area and people are more isolated. But the but the the factors that have gone into why people are so upset in Baltimore are exactly the same as they are here. You know, it's, it's poverty, it's lack of opportunity, uh, it, it is a feeling that, that every authority figure you ever deal with uh, treats you uh, with, with disrespect uh, and, and sees you as part of the problem or a criminal. Um, you know, that's, that's common not just in Baltimore and Detroit, but in, in cities all over the country.